Hello, Kathy. everybody. Yes, welcome. <laughs> welcome to the shit show. Uh, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah Can't happens. lie to me, Danny. Hello, Hello, White Rabbit. How's it going? I know who that is. Can I say who you are? Oh, do I know who this is? Yes. The name has changed. Is it Prison Mom? It is. It's Tanya. Hello. Hello, Tanya. How you doing, friend? How do we start? I don't know. Hello, Daddy. How are you? I am well. How are you? (laughs) Well for relative values of well. Everything is on fire. How's your back? You're sitting. And you're not crying in pain. This feels promising. My sciatic nerve is still real unhappy with me. Sorry. It's fine. I keep sitting with my leg under my other leg and I need to not do that. Uh, Yeah. And that would probably help it. Why, hello, pineapple squid. Pineapple squid. I don't know who you are, but I love that name. That's one of my friends. (gasps) Yay. Like gasp. Uh, Danny, I guess for new friends. New friends, new friends who don't know don't know what we do. What, what do we do on the show? We make stuff and we talk mm-hmm. about things that we make mm-hmm. stuff about. Mm-hmm. Usually, except for today. Yeah, today's, today's gonna a be different. a special day. DB's gonna get spicy, not in the spicy book kind of way, but you really did make tea. Yep, I'm ready today. Uh-huh. You made mis- you make mistakes and bleed. <laughs> Yes. yes 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 we do we there, try not the, to bleed the slogan of our show is mistakes were made everybody knows this yes um but what have you been working on danny stuff oh my goodness stuff i heard there was gonna be t- there's gonna there, be tea there is gonna be tea today there is going to be tea i don't know if anybody is as addicted to tiktok as i am i am not for the short amount of time that we have it left <laughs> <laughs> yeah we just yeah that's a whole thing yeah, don't don't get me started on. Yeah, no, we won't start on that. But we make things, and so I have been working things. on. I'm going to show you just a little bit of a shawl design that I'm working on, but I'm not going to show the whole thing because I don't know yet if it's, it's supposed to be a secret. secret. Oh, it might be a secret. It might be a secret. It's I it's have ish. This is not I going have... to be the final yarn in the kit because it's going to be a kit. I really like that color. I do too. I I. I am constantly on the talk of Tick, <laughs> on the clock app, as we like to call it over there occasionally. Yes. Um, I like to absorb it vicariously on YouTube. That's fair. See, I watch it like a good Gen X or a couple of weeks later on Instagram when it comes out. <laughs> it's fine. I'm old. It's cool. You and my girlfriend. <laughs> This thing is going to be amazing. So this is going to be um, a hood type hat. Let's put it on o- over this again. And my boyfriend. Oh, yeah, this is it. It does not work really well. Well, I mean, it does cover the headset, but it looks kind of ridiculous. Yeah. But it's you going look, to be. You know who you look like? <laughs> Rick oh, Moran is from Spaceballs. <laughs> I see it too. <laughs> oh, but it is velvety. Velvet. And it is giant stitches on size 17 needles. Lord Helmet. (laughs) Yep. But I'm working on that for DB. And DB can tell you, like, exactly what it is. I I have it labeled in my design folder as DB's DBD Cat Hood. It is the new... It is for uh, my new main... It's for um, Sable Ward, the new survivor who I am in love with. Um, she is so gorgeous. <laughs> she is she is the gothic lady we all wish we were. But now I'll have a I'll have her hood, and I'm so excited. Yes, yes, you shall. Um, yes. So, and then the other big project for the week was putting together the pieces from. The Crits and Knits crew. This is a surprise. Uh, Miranda, if you happen to be watching, look away. I don't think she's watching this. I assembled our knit cube 
which is a That's... a baby present for so a five year friend. We, we gonna be real honest. DB did not make anything that's a part of that because DB has a terrible fucking memory. It's okay. It's okay. You were there when at least three of the squares were made. So it's true. I was. You, I just your presence feel, is infused. I feel very bad because I. You were part I, of determining the group gift. You had uh, thoughts on I, it. Honey, I wasn't even a part of that because you guys were like, hey, is everybody going to have their square done? And I went, square for what? But when we first talked about it, you were like cool with it. Are you sure? Are you sure yeah. I was even involved I'm in that sure. conversation? Well, because, your name's like, going on the card, so. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Just be like, she didn't contribute anything to this, but ha happy it's child. Fine. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I'm I'm pleased that it all came out. It's a little bit wobbly, but honestly, it's going to be given to a baby and it's going to be squished and pulled out of shape anyway. So it's fine. Yeah, as long as it stays intact, yep. I think you're Gouda. What have you been making? Anything? So I've been working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you already saw this, but I don't think our friends have seen this yet. Um, I finished one fourth of the 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 hue shift, the color shift, yay, Huey thingy, my bobber. It's so pretty. So this, is, this is a fourth of it. Um, I'm working on another fourth of it because you do 25 squares in a corner and then you sew it all together and then you border it. Um, here is the other part of it. Thank you. It's very nice. Um, oh God, everything is, um, oh no, there's a lot happening over here. Oh fuck. <laughs> when so things get ends. wadded up, yeah. this not even ends. This is just things wadded up. Oh no. Cause I, I just tossed I them in your bag. Yeah, well, I, and I weave in my ends as I go. So here's the next fourth. And it's more like muted -y colors, but I really like it. Yeah. Yeah. I like. And I decided, because I like to keep going, I was just like, okay, I'll just do all of the white and then go up each side. Yeah. Which, Lord boy, howdy, should I have thought about that before I did these two squares? Because then I just decided, you know what? Let's cut off the green so I don't have multiple balls hanging off of this. That's ha, of I said balls. Um, <laughs> sorry, Daddy's mom. The other tagline to this uh, thing. But that's all I've really been working on. I haven't even really gotten to read much because. Oh. Well, I've been I've been reading and I updated my book journal. Hey, stream elements. I think everybody knows we're streaming. That's pretty crafty. You know, it, it's fine. Sorry. So um, I'm you're all... I'm growing my book garden. <laughs> oh my god, look at how many books you've read. Yes. It's fine. It's fine. But I I've, I've been reading I've been reading. And I do, obviously. And I've I went and I so I have um a silhouette machine. And I have sticker paper for the silhouette. And I made myself stickers. And I just want you to know that with the way my day has been, White Rabbit, <laughs> this is mild. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, I made stickers. And so <laughs> I'm labeling books now as books that I got from the library. Oh. Um, books that are ebooks and books that are book club books. What is the one with your, yeah. It's uh, like three little people and then a chat bubble with a book in it. No, what is the title oh, of that book? Oh, Nettle and Bone. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, because I have my thing reversed, so it's hard to read. Sorry. But that way you also can't read my reviews. It's fine. No, no, no. It was, I could see it. It wasn't yeah. reversed for me. Oh, okay. Um, but I was just like, I couldn't read it because it was tiny, tiny. Oh, yes. Book cover stickers, because I print those out too. Um, yes. So the, the way I'm doing my book journal is I have... I have my book garden, and for every book that I read, I'm making a flower. And then I have just my basic reading log, which is the, the title, the author, and um, <laughs> uh, the title, the author, the dates that I read it, and then just a number of stars that I have. But then I'm doing, um, let's find a looking one just re basic reviews 
and by review i mean a couple sentences to sort of tweak my memory yeah. um i borrowed so i've been putting books on hold at the library because at work there's a group who are doing a book club and i'm oh. like well i'm going to take these books out of the library if i can instead of like buying a 12 dollar book every month that yeah based on the like. previous ones they're not really my kind of book yeah um and that's fine but i want to participate um, where was I going with that? I'm taking books out of the library. So they're on hold. I feel like there was, it was going somewhere. Oh, that. well, uh, that part of it, I yeah. could not read your memory there. Nope. So, um, but I'm like keeping track of things like this one was for the work book club. And the one that I just finished was for the Ginny D discord book club. And, uh, Oh, that's, that's what it was, is I, I went through and I put on hold all of the books coming up from the workbook club. And one of them, I looked at the cover, I'm like, this feels really familiar. And it turns out that I read it back in 2022. Oh. But that's fine. Um, I got it from the library anyway, and I will reread it and leave myself a little note so I remember, like, what I think about it, not just what the blurb says, because the blurb doesn't mm -hmm. always help. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. We're all living through vic we're all living vicariously through Danny and her book journal at this point. I mean, because even listen, my book journal <laughs> here it is. It has a it's upside down. It says, uh, a reader lives a thousand lives. That was a oh. sticker from my girl my partner, not my girlfriend. Um, and then like I have started this and it's my little book log and oh, the I colors mean which the way i read it so okay yeah um and then i have started doing um which actually i need to update this because i haven't done it in a while but it's um <gasps> the abc's ABC yes yeah um and i do the colors also consisting with how i read it because I thought that would be real nice. Um, yeah. And then that is it. That's all I have. Like, That's there's okay. nothing else. Because I remember all of my books yes. pretty well when it comes to reading. So I don't, I don't, I don't keep, um, I don't keep like how I feel about this. Well, I also do that on Goodreads. Like, right. that's where I keep that. And I don't do that on Goodreads. Um, right. Just because, especially if I don't like something, I don't want the author stumbling across it and feeling bad. I won't. I won't rate something if I didn't like it. Okay. I'll just be like red, but I won't put a rating on yeah. it. Yeah. See, this um, way I like to like. I've got the the first book I read this year. Uh, the what, what did I, I think I the about it? the only thing that I went ooh didn't like that was. Um, the spirit bears its teeth and it had eye stuff in it. Uh, yeah. And I was like, oh, sorry for bothering you. I'm off for you. Fuck off. Absolutely fuck off. Go away, bots. Yeah, like I've got a couple of two star books. I have one one star book that was almost a DNF, but it was one of those. I'm like, no, I'm just going to, I'm going to finish it because I can't not finish books. Um, but as you can see by my book garden that I, I do I read a lot you do and that's just um, I've always been oh, yeah. a big reader and that's just what I do yeah um that seemed really harsh to that bot um but I am this is not the day and I am <laughs> not the one so oh yeah I still need to do that I'm making some that's progress on book bingo I need to draw my book in the center I still haven't sat down to find like a good book you image sent me the picture of that didn't you i did yes okay i'll need to add that to my book journal um but yeah so hey danny oh please hold i'm sorry there's something in my house making noise and I don't know what it is and I'm missing a dog. Is it the hell mouth? I don't think so. Um, please hold, I will be right back. 
Cool. Uh, sure. It's the little door. And I think that's the hell mouth. Bring the salt. Danny did not hear us say that. Bring the iron. Anyway. Right, um, but which one? Bring two. Mm, fair enough. Good news. Was it? It, it was uh, just the dog playing with the food bowl or food ball. They've got like oh. a, a hamster ball type thing that has food the in it. The tree that they bowl? Roll. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good news. It's not the hell mouth. <laughs> Yay. Not the hell mouth. Yay. Yeah. Hey, Dan Danny, are we ready to transition? Yes, please. Okay. I'm ready. What, what are we doing today? We are learning about book talk controversy. So I know the gist of it. Yes, but uh, let DB let me do a thing details. real quick because I want to make sure I get this person's name right again. Okay, you bitch. <laughs> Computer failing. Okay, so everything I got was, is from Shirong J Zhao. Um, they were the one. She, I think she, was the one that kind of broke this story open. Okay, about. Kate Corain. So Danny is not on TikTok. No. Um, and some of the controversy from book, book talk does not get translated over to Instagram. Yes. Uh, pineapple. Oh, this one. There will be another one too, but we're starting out with this because I did a huge deep dive when I should have been working on Monday. Oh, and also if anyone else has some that they want to talk about, just drop it in the chat. Or you want me to research about yeah. and talk about later because we'll probably do this again because we I I like the drama. <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna talk, we're gonna talk about Kate Corain. Kate Corain, um believe non-binary. I don't know that for sure. So I will use they them pronouns just in case because I don't know their pronouns. Um Kate Corain had a novel that was supposed to debut this year. Looked real pretty. Was kind of excited about it. Um, yeah. The cover art was... The cover art was fantastic. I've beautiful. seen pictures of that. So, what happened? Why not come out now? Why dropped by literature, uh, by publishing company and agent? Ooh. Well, what they did, what they absolutely did was star bomb other debut authors mostly people of color two of them being from the same agent and publishing company as oh, them i didn't know that part oh that's a that's not yes. smart yes so also yes they are a terrible human i don't <sighs> yep so um, Jurong, Jurong, J. Zhao, um, put a 31 page Google Doc together with all I the love receipts. That. I love having and receipts. And put it on Twitter. Um, and I was like, ooh, it's wild they th thought they would get caught, they wouldn't get caught. Yes. Doing the Lord's work. Yes. Doing the Lord's work. Um, they were also star star bombed, reviewed. That's the other ah. thing. Is uh, Zhao Zhao? I'm gonna probably go by last name a little bit. It's because keep fucking up their first name, even though I've listened to it a hundred times. Um, but not as bad as the other authors. So, Kate did this thing, made a whole bunch of burner accounts and was like, hey, bro, uh, and started bombing all of these debut authors and somebody who wasn't a debut author who writes, who's a um, person of color who writes queer and personal person of color books. Um, they have one. I actually bought one of the books and we'll talk about some of the books because I wrote those down too in case you want to support the, the ones that got affected. So... Um, let me look at my notes. Um, so she put the stock together with all of the receipts. 
uh, didn't send it out yet. People were finding out that Kate was doing that and was trying to resolve this privately. Didn't want to get it all out there and blah, 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 blah. So. Trying to be um, nice about it and fix it without the big mess. Yes. So someone reached out to uh, Zara, um, Zhao. Sorry, I'm going to, I know how to say the last name better than yeah. the first name. So telling her uh, that, the that the reviews were from a friend of Kate's. And screenshots were provided, but our girl Zhao did not believe it uh, because the timestamps in the screenshots of the Discord messages were, like, weird. So it would be like, oh, it was 8 p.m. today, and then, like, the next one would say 8 p.m. yesterday, and then it would go back to 8 p.m. today. So, like, very badly photoshopped. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Putting, yes. putting the author's name. Yes. The, the, that, the one who collected everything. Yes. And that is their also their TikTok handle. It's their name put oh, together. Awesome. Okay. Put together. Yep. Um, so, it was very weird. The, the, that's like, ooh, why, why would it do that? It shouldn't do that. Like, I could understand if one message said, oh, yesterday at this time, and then the rest of them were like, today at this time, this time. Like, right. like Discord does. Yeah, the way it works. Um, With all messages that are legit. Then, so, Zhao was not vague tweeting, but was tweeting about this, but wasn't name dropping because they had been talking to their friends that this was affecting, and they were like, we don't really want this all to be out there right and uh kate comes out in a slack conversation for 2024 debut uh authors and confess that they are the subject of zao's tweets and is doubling down on the friend explanation that their friend did this that it wasn't kate but their friend was doing it because they wanted Kate to do really well. And Kate had been like, you were really fucked up. And it like the messages don't make a lot of sense. Like, let's let's just get this out there. I have a friend who has books that she has yes. written and they're fantastic and I love them. And uh, I don't go around one star review bombing other people's books to make her look better. I no. just talk no. about how awesome her books are. And by the way, you should all go buy my friend's books and I will maybe pop a link in later because I love them. Please do because I also want to get one because I'm okay. trying to read more stuff. Okay. Um, so uh, but that's what's going on or maybe not. <laughs> anyway. The point is anyway. I am not doing the one star reviews. Right. Right. R right. Like that's the thing. Also. That's just um, not what you do. That's not how you make your friends look better. That makes your so, friends look like they are friends with crazy people. Right. So but she also, like, in the messages to her friends was like, you shouldn't have done that, blah, 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 blah. Like, trying to be like, that's a terrible thing that you did. So, um, they asked for additional proof of this person. Nothing could be found. There was no Twitter. The Discord username was gone. Like, all of this mm, stuff. Mm, mm. And, like, there's no yeah. saying that they were friends for... they. She had said that they were friends for a very long time. But couldn't provide receipts of that. So, yeah. seems, seems really sussy. A sussy. Suspicious. Right. Sorry, I have pages of notes. <laughs> and I'm trying to make sure I, like... Not missing anything. Summar and summarizing, not reading off of. Because right, I feel yeah. like that would be boring for everybody. Gotcha, gotcha. So... Um. Uh, asked for the Discord, couldn't find any of that. Blah 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 blah. So there was so there was a thing where somebody uh somebody tweeted that there was um they tweeted that there was an albino chicken in the hen house kind of thing, and someone okay. took that as like talking about Kate hurting all these other debut authors but somebody took that as someone being ableist oh and saying that this person was being ableist because of al albinism and this person that said that is albino um and i'm like oh and but apparently that's not what that person meant 
You know what I mean? Because right. it's like a it's a saying apparently in like the South, I guess. I don't know. I've um, never heard it, but that doesn't mean it isn't. But right, I don't don't know. But that that wasn't what they meant. What they meant was there was like a like a snake in the hen house kind of thing, right. um, and Zhao is like this is deflecting from what's actually happening kind of thing right and basically was like bucket here is the 31 page document of all of the receipts <laughs> and i'm like oh girl oh girl oh that's a lot and it becomes it becomes a whole thing well yeah so the other fun thing that comes into play is the Raylo fandom. Wait, the Raylo fandom? Yes. Kate Corrine is a part of the Raylo fandom. Okay. The and... Raylo fandom Wait, for, walks for, in. Just on the off chance that people don't know what that is. The Raylo fan, fandom, from what I know of it, I'm not a Star Wars fan, but it's Kylo Ren and Rey. No. Yeah. Yeah. Kylo Ren and Rey. Shipping. together yeah yes okay. sweet sweet loves so um kate had said that their friend lily was from the raylo fandom the raylo fandom stepped up and went no oh hey bitch we have cross-referenced all of our shit every single part of it and we have not found a lily they cross-referenced it so much that they took the writing from the screenshots and put it up against freaking Kate's own, like, fan fiction writing <laughs> and went, hmm, hmm, seems sussy. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm sitting over, go over here going, yeah. no one expects the Raylo fandom. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing is when you, when you start poking very passionate fandoms that have a lot of fanfic and read this stuff and are familiar with writing styles that you you just need to expect that they're going to respond <laughs> go make yourself some tea do yes. it i'm here for you <laughs> um one of one of the authors that was review bombed was originally a Raylo fanfic oh. writer who then later got published, and they had been. I'm skipping ahead in the timeline. That's okay. That's okay. They had been really good friends. <gasps> oh no! And and she Why would actually you do that. She actually defended Kate <gasps> a little bit, not knowing that this was happening. Oh no! Yeah. So. Oh dear. I didn't. I'm learning all sorts of things. I only knew the very basics that this Kate person did the review bomb yeah. thing and got called out by Zhao and yeah, yeah. Uh, like, oh, the other, oh, what? The what? other, what? not not that she defended. She had written a like heartfelt review of Kate's book. Oh. And, like, it was, be like, a really nice, like, oh, my God, like, in ringing endorsement for this book. And then she star-bombed her fucking friend. You don't do that shit. Yeah. So Kate basically destroyed her own career and her book was, as her book was doing well. Uh, oh, yeah. Her book was doing well. Advanced readers fucking loved it. <laughs> she she destroyed her career because of this. Yeah. Delray Books dropped Kate's book, was no longer being published in 2024. Illumicrate had also said that she was that book was going to be a part of their monthly book thing. Right. It was going to have this beautiful co cover and everything. They dropped her. NBC News tweeted about how she was dropped from both her agent and her publisher. Kate later confessed that she did it. The The crazy thing about this is if she had done it and been like, you know what? Yeah, I fucked up. 
You can delete your fucking reviews off of Yeah, if she had just reads. gone and deleted all of them. Yeah, and been like, you know what? I, I fucked up. I'm sorry. You know? I mean, it would it, it would have still been oh so people would still be but, but she would not have ruined her fucking career because yeah. all the people wanted was like hey if you if you're the one stop, that did this, please stop and fix it stop fix it and po- apologize all they wanted was an apology they didn't want her book to be right thrown to the wolves but they didn't do that they were like no they doubled down and said it was their friend until they confessed Uh, so later confessed she did it, faked the convo with the friend, right, and did make the accounts. She says that she is fighting depression, alcoholism, and substance abuse, and says that she hid it from people around her. Which you know what? Fair enough. It happens. Yeah. Um. Yeah. You good. Good on you for admitting that. However. Um, However, I also don't you you star bombed people of color. Yeah. Not like other white writers, like people yeah. of color. Um and then says in the next paragraph she started new meds and had a psychological break and made the good Goodreads accounts in December. But all of these started in April. Holy yeah. crap. Yeah. Uh, she says she has two burners from 2022. So there might be more victims that she did this to that we don't know about. Um, one of the authors was, oh, yeah. One of the authors was the same agent and publisher as Kate's books. Um, saying she didn't believe that Del Rey would spend half a million dollars on this other person's book. Oh dear. Yeah, when they when they could have spent it on somebody else. Um Molly X Chang and Danielle Jensen uh were the two that were a part of the same publishing agent and uh yeah. And um agent and publisher. So agent and Del Rey books. Okay. Um Camilla Cole and Bethany Batista are the ones she names in her apology, but her memory is fuzzy, so she doesn't remember everybody she hurt. Uh, so not really taking full accountability, because if you knew, like, you did this, you would have gone back and went, you know what, I need to apologize to everybody. I just found a list on the internet of right. um, some of the authors. I don't know if it's all of them but there's a start yeah so yep uh rm he like his stuff he wasn't even a debut author he just had books coming out and she was saying you just happened to be on the wrong list at the wrong time kind of thing yeah um those are all of them actually so um before we get into these books and uh, Fe Fe Fea, Taya, Gonz- yeah, Blunt Gonz- Gonz- yeah, she's the one that wrote the endorsement for her book for Kate's Aww. book. So, the year of our Lord, February, twenty twenty four. Kate is back. She has an interview with uh this like newspaper called Daily Beast or something like that. Okay. And she's talking about how there's a lot of like not great things she's saying about like mental health meds and stuff like that. That all of her meds made her do this. And I'm like people who read that who need that kind of thing might not get the help they need if you keep doing stuff like that. Yeah. Guess it's what? very much psychiatric meds don't make you racist. That is exactly what people are seeing. And she doubled down that she's not racist. I give you many people of color that you star bombed. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to point fingers because 
Maybe it's a coincidence? It doesn't seem likely, though. And, yeah, don't, don't go blaming your medication for your poor choices. Yeah. Especially when it's been going on for that long, because... Yeah, but you could also... The other thing is, I mean, in my many meds, but I... Yes. Yes, exactly. Yes. We, yes. we know lots of people who are taking medication for mental health and don't do yeah. shit like this. No. And yes, there are medications that will have um, negative mm. effects. I was on a medication at one point that made me an absolute raging bitch. But... I still didn't do shit like this. Yeah, but you were you also you were a bitch to everyone. Oh yes, <laughs> like it wasn't specific. People. Yeah, no, it was. Oh, it was. It was a very <laughs> terrible couple of months. Uh, I was miserable um, to be around. So she was, and she kept saying that she didn't want her to use her mental illness as an excuse, but it very much seemed like That's she was. Kind of what she's doing there. Yeah. And so everybody should support those authors. I have actually, I have two books coming to me. Um, the Poison We Drink by Bethany Batista. It looked, it, I, it was just, these were the ones that I was like, ooh, this seems really interesting to me. So I picked that one up. I think I also got, uh, so there's the Gods of Hunger series, which is by uh, RM Virtues. Okay. Um, his first one in that is a retelling of Persephone and Hades. Okay. Um, Did we Man of Color. We might have talked no, about this. No, there's there's another different. There's oh, a okay. different Persephone and Hades. There's a lot of Persephone um, and Hades stuff out there these days. Yeah. So, but that one is black casino owner and black trans uh, aerial acrobat. So oh. I'm very interested in like reading that one. Well, I'm very that excited. That just sounds like a fun combination. Yes. So I'm very excited for that one. That one should be here. I think I picked up another one. Um, I eventually want to read. Oh, I picked up Zhao's book as well. The okay. Iron Widow. Um, very Chinese um, story-esque. And I'm very excited to get into those. The Poison We Drink, I don't, I think comes out later this month. Okay. Um, some of these books are already out. I just, listen, I can't just buy all the books. So right. I went, here's all the ones I want to try first. We have budgets and must purchase books slowly. Yes. So honestly, that that whole deep dive didn't take me very long. But boy, that that's a lot of, that's a lot to process. It is so much. <sighs> but oh, there was even a person who was starbombed so badly they contacted Goodreads and Goodreads took their book off of it. Oh, wow. Because they were like, I didn't want this negativity to happen. So when they started having to campaign for their book again, they had to start from scratch. Oh, that's rough. That bad effing karma is what it is. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. So, yes. So, do we have like a synopsis of Kate Corrine's book? So that everyone can be aware that when something similar comes out self-published under a different pseudonym, we can avoid it. I can get it for you. Because I am pretty sure that is going to try to happen. So the book is called Crown of Starlight. Um, it is a Greek mytholo mythology that takes, takes to the stars in this steamy sci-fi reimagining of the tale of Arden and Dionysus. Uh, I'm going to Goodreads real quick so it can tell me. Oh, it's gotten two stars on Goodreads because she is. They are terrible. Yeah, that would be um, So the first book in a snarky, queer, lusty, romantic duology set in a galaxy of monstrous mortals, bloodthirsty gods, and lo love fierce enough to shatter the cosmos. Um, rise amongst the monsters. Yeah. So, I want to see what people are saying about it. Oh, so many. So one person goes, uh, yeah, no, I definitely can't support an author who review bombs their fellow, uh, mostly BIPOC 2024 debuts. This is just embarrassing. 
shelved on. Nope. Oh my god, I can finally edit. Not, not this being my most liked comment. Way to ruin your career before it even started. Shake my head. <laughs> yeah. I There's wonder... a lot of people that have like that are also DNF like yeah. Um. I wonder what the logistics are. Like, obviously, she was dropped, but but mm -hmm. what does that mean? Like, are they holding on to the rights to her book so she can't publish it? That I don't know. Um, I'm assuming that there would be rights that couldn't be published right away unless they gave it back over to her. Right. I don't think they would, not right away anyway, because they did put the money in to yeah, do, there's, like... Yeah, there's, like, stuff that's been done. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So I don't, I don't know what that means. Um, Interesting. And I don't know enough about how the publishing world works to know, you know, would she have to pay back in advance? Would I think it depends on how long ago they signed her. I don't know. I don't know enough yeah. about how those contracts specifically work. White Rabbit, do you know? Ooh, yeah. Probably, right. probably, probably depend depends on, on the contract. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. But, I mean, it's Del Rey, so their their contracts are going to be pretty Oi. pretty solid. Yes, yeah, solid. Pretty solid. I would ass I would assume as a uh, trad publishing is you're usually 2 years. Fair enough. I would also pretty much assume that if it's your from accept to release. Okay. So yeah, that's a Sometimes lot. once it goes out of print, the rights can revert back to the author after some, Yeah. I do know that. Um I would say that with it being Del Rey as well, they they would own the rights because also it's not like they're S Stephen King who has it right. written into his contract that he controls the rights of his right. books. Yeah. He, they are a debut writer yeah. like and you don't get that kind of leeway no. very much unless you have a really good fucking agent and even then uh, you're yeah. a newbie they're they're yep. they're, they're gonna yep. be a little less leeway yep, yep. exactly so and it, so, it's, yeah. it's interesting because this book was never actually in print because it was never released so nope. does it technically the, the, ever go the out of print if it was never released this is all the fun legal stuff that i'm curious about but lawyer. honestly that's a lot to figure out and... yeah i'm not i'm not researching all that shit yeah and Sorry. a lot of it is probably covered by confidentiality privacy yeah yeah, yeah 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 but they're fun yeah, questions yeah, yeah. to think about they are fun questions to think about and if i was a smarter woman this is the inside baseball stuff i love yes yeah so um so that was kate crane i have a feeling we'll try it sh that they'll probably try and come back again oh yeah um trying to get people on their side um but the problem is is they just keep saying it wasn't my fault basically. it wasn't my fault it was my mental mental health it wasn't me it was my best friend it wasn't me it was my mental health yeah no it was you it was you all along is the best friend in the room with us? <laughs> like, yeah. Um, yeah. I I could never could never do that to anybody, especially especially one person who is your friend, yeah. your actual fucking friend. I mean, both of us were just talking about how we don't give bad reviews to books we didn't like on Goodreads. We just don't touch them. We don't review. Yeah, them. Like, we don't finish them. Yeah. You're pulling a shaggy. It wasn't me. <laughs> yep. Na, 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 na. It wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. But yeah, so that is uh, Kate Crane. I got it. They were, had friends with their mental illness, so it was their friend's fault. There, there we, we go. go. Yes. Yep. I they named their mental. With my mental illness, yes. They, uh, they named their mental illness Lily. And that's why they were able to have conversations and text messages with Lily. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. That's. Yep. People, people be people in. That's the thing. People do be people in. Um, so. Now. What, we could keep talking about Kate Crane. 
or I could tell you a little bit about a different one that I know of. <laughs> they should write a book about that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, yeah, let's talk about the next one. And again, right. if anyone in chat has anything that they... Uh... I mean merch. People do be people in. <laughs> did I say that? Did I? One of us just did, yeah. Who said that, White Rabbit? Which one of us was? Was it, was it me? Was it me, Jesus? I, I feel like it was you, DB. It sounds like a thing that would come out of a DB mouth. I am a big fan of Cocky Gate. Wait, oh, I don't what know. is Cocky I don't, Gate? I don't know that one. Um, I will do. I will do my research. We will research. do a deep dive on that one later. Mm -hmm. So our show just turns out to be like us deep diving drama instead of anything <laughs> else. Now, to be fair, I mean, we do talk about lots of other stuff. Well, I'm saying that we transition oh, to yeah, only. We <laughs> yeah, we could do that. <laughs> We make crafts to talk shit. stop us? <laughs> it was pretty crafty. There we go. It was pretty crafty. I'm here for it. Give me a second. I gotta find my goddamn pen. Ooh, pen. I, I'm going right. to pull up a, a Google and do... I, I, I may regret Googling cocky gate, cocky but... Gate. Okay, I have that written down. I will look it up later. Okay. Oh, so oh, there's even a Vox article on it. Right. Fun. That's what I should have done is I should have just read articles there's about Kikarin. There's a Kikarin. hashtag. Of course there is. Are you surprised? There is no way the search result is going to be good. It's going to be great. <laughs> anyway, so uh, the next person I found out about was J.D. Barker, I believe is his name. Let okay. me make sure it's not Baker. Barker. Barker. I was right. J.D. Barker. Um, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> he is a uh, New York Times bestseller. And this gem of a person uh, had a book coming out. And he reached out to a bunch of young TikTokers. Oh, young no. Oh, no. Influence TikTokers. Oh, no. And was like, hey, I want you to um, promote my book. Okay. But it was the way he wanted them to promote his book. Oh, um, oh I heard of this one, too. So cute. So, so oh, icky. No. You're oh, so no. right. I'm already getting, like, the icky chills. I didn't. Yes, because men. <laughs> We love you, Greg. Um, but, uh. yeah. So here's the thing. I did not get to do a deep dive on this one as much because I had work today and I was in the office and life got hard. Life got hard. Yay, me. Um, but I was here when it started. Uh, so J.D. Barker, a uh, bestseller. He won the Bram Stoker Award for like horror stuff. No, I'm with you, men. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> so he uh, reached out to a bunch of young TikTokers and was like, hey, I want you to promote my, book, promote my book. But the way I want you to do it is, like, have this, like, cover your bits with his book kind of thing and be kind of naked. And one of the things no! that he wanted. Yes. Uh, one of the things that he said as well was... Uh, Oh, yes. <laughs> One of the things he said was, uh, you'll have to send it to me so I can approve it. Before no! You get, before you get paid no! for it. No! <laughs> oh, God. Immediately, no. That is correct. That is yes. the response. Yes. Uh, that is the response. Um. So if he didn't like what you did, he, he would just have a video of you, like, naked on his phone and you not, didn't get paid for it people were automatically grossed out yeah so literally send nudes face yes 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 oh my gosh um, so that happened and he went you know what this is a bad pr move by my pr firm is he his own fucking pr firm Yes. Of course he is. It was a bad move by my PR guy. Yes. 
<laughs> is the PR guy in the room with us? Oh, gosh. How about I send your gross ass to the police? So, <laughs> See, I could, I could accept that sort of a request sent by a female author of racy novels. Mm-hmm. Without the, I need to prove it first. Oh, no, no, no. My but, thing like, is, is I don't think I could approve that of even racy novels. Get a model who does that kind of shit. Don't just reach out to influencers yeah. on TikTok to do that. Especially when TikTok is full of minors. Yeah, you don't reach out to the, the, mm, the youth. Eg exactly. Exactly. That's, you're right, you're right. Exactly. You, you need to have an actual PR agency who thinks through these things. Far more than I do, apparently. But, but that's why you have friends that exactly. are like, hey, Danny. <laughs> friends who slow me down on my ideas. Yeah, just... It's oh, a I nice can... thought. Let's pull back. Let's figure out a different way to do that. Let's keep brainstorming. This is a great start. Keep moving. But actually, I would, I would have been like creep think yeah. of a different idea yeah. professionals kid could set to being photo photographed in revealing ways and be properly compensated for it exactly yeah he wanted to pay people a hundred dollars that was starting a hundred dollars for your racy ass picture like or video a hundred dollars maybe yeah maybe if i approve of it Oh, he would. If he had come to me with that, I would have one thousand percent sent him one. But it would have been fucking weird, <laughs> and it would not have been what he wanted. Nope. My dog. I'll, I'll take the the collar off my dog. She'll be naked. How's that? I'll put her in a fancy robe. Like <laughs> <laughs> I'll have my cat laying out with like her the book on her stomach. Oh yeah. Like, it's gonna get fucking weird up in here. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that was that, and people are like, ew. Um, I don't really know everything that came out of that, because like I said, I didn't get a chance to research, but I'll update I'm, you next week. Or in I'm two glancing weeks. at some stuff. His agent dropped him. Good. But I think he owns his own lit company, like. Oh, but his, uh, <coughs> the PR firm <laughs> sent out an email that he's back with his best novel yet. Wait, no, no, sorry, that's the, um, that was the email that they sent. Okay, good. Yeah. Like, is he back already? We haven't forgiven him. That was too Probably. soon. Probably. Too soon, man, too soon. January 23rd is when he made that email pitch. Yep. January 23rd, 2024, people! The year of our Lord. Did we not 2024. learn anything? Is, has the, like, does no one remember the Me Too movement, like, do people still not realize that women are people? We're, wait, we're people? Yeah, we fucking are! I've learned something new every day. I know, right? Yup. Gee whiz. Uh -huh. Now there's something going on with an audiobook re uh, person. I don't know what it is yet. This is relatively new. I haven't gotten there. Supreme Court case in point and... Uh, yeah. So. I'm just reading more about the the email. Do you want to read it to us all? Well, okay. we do live in America, <clears throat> and in America, only men get to say what women do with their bits, so. Yeah. Okay, so the message asked influencers to create sponsored content promoting the book in exchange for a fee with a tiered scale based on follower count. Okay, that's, I mean, so, I feel like that's normal. 3,000 to 5,000 followers or followers or word, followers would earn $100. Those between 150,000 and 200,000 would earn $1,200. In order to be approved, it. the promotional post needed to include the book's cover image and specific hashtag, hashtags, uh, but were okay. encouraged to let creativity rule and embrace the fact that this book is spicy. Um, and added that... Barker will personally review each video and either approve it, triggering payment, or offer suggestions to get it improved. 
what followed were a few video ideas yes um including a video with a camera pan up or down the body using only the book to cover up your naughty bits a video that cuts to something racy and a video about the most taboo place you've ever had sex to young tiktokers and he responded that the campaign was never approved uh the email wasn't meant to go out without a substantial rewrite but through a chain of errors it did what your hand just hovering over the said button he does say that he deeply regrets the hurt he's caused and has nothing but the deepest respect for women there's uh he has a full statement available uh this article that i'm looking at is from publishers weekly so i i put some faith in publishers weekly when it comes to book stuff <sighs> let's see where's his i don't want to open a pdf good grief yeah no that's just yeah. Yeah. Chain of errors. I wrote stupid shit. <sighs> I read an article today. Is DB still there? Or are you frozen? Am I frozen? Is everything frozen? Uh oh. DB went away. Do you guys still see me? Me lean way over to one way. Oh, Dee's back. Okay. You fell away. It was scary and sad. Oh, now we have to wait for your audio to reconnect, don't we? Oh, no. Oh, no. The internet does not like DB today. I'm double checking. All my numbers are good. I promise I'm not dropping. It's... Oh, internet is sad. I thought things were kind of quiet. Well, we'll wait for, for DB's internet to catch back up. Um, but I was I was reading stuff today, talking about all these... Uh, um, the uh, Pineapple Squid's comment about... <laughs> it is the perfect response. Um, the book they're reading, Invisible Women, Data Bias in a World Designed for Men. I was just reading a book about how... Not a book, an article. About how they really need to get more women involved in automobile design because with the new electric cars there's a lot more room to be able to finally design a car that has a place to put your fucking purse what yeah <laughs> that that despite the fact that women are more prevalently the purchasers of vehicles they're still not designed for women, including lack of a place to put your purse or your backpack or your laptop case or any of the million things that people carry. And yeah. if you have a passenger, you can't just put it on the passenger seat and you're like shoving it in the back seat or like between you and the car door. And it's a terrible thing. And or even at the feet of your passenger. Yeah. Like, I don't want I don't want other people stepping on my bag, please. Yeah. But yeah, apparently with the new electric vehicles, um, there's there are people trying to push for more female designers to accommodate for things like that and take the the more available space because you don't need as much room for the engine and all that. And you've got more space in like the center console area and make storage solutions for people that need it. And it's not just women. We tend to carry purses and bags more than men, but anyone who rides in a car like you need a place to put your stuff preferably a somewhat secure place because what they do down here is just fucking stupid apparently it's a very normal thing for women to just shove their purse under the front seat of the car and lock their car and walk away I'm like why would you leave your purse in the car well because it's big and heavy and I don't want to carry it well, then leave your purse at home and take a wallet or a little wallet. Apparently everyone here does it because everyone knows someone whose car got broken into and their purse was stolen. I'm like, why was your purse in the fucking car? You don't put your purse in the car. Yeah. Yeah. 
yeah, you, you tell That's us amazing. More. I would love a big old space. I, I carry backpack to work every day because I am... I just do. <laughs> yeah. And I can't have a passenger with me because that's where my backpack rides. Yep. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, you don't leave things out of sight or in sight. I would love to be able to drive a hearse, but I am um, too tall. And those seats don't always adjust far enough back uh -huh. for people who are almost six feet tall. You have to get, yeah. like, they have some that fit them, obviously, like, yeah, but also I really like my Mazda. I really <laughs> like my Mazda. I'm a big fan of little cars, but I am also a short person, so I fit. I love that. I I do love that for you, crafty guy. Um, yeah. <sighs> I like my Mazda, though. I love my Mazda. I just, I would like a car that has more in-car storage so that I can have the passenger. I almost, I almost had to drive one of the doctors to the dealership the other day after work because the person who was going to give him a ride wasn't around. And I was like, well, it's on my way home. So if you still need a ride, I can give you one. And for like the next 20 minutes, I'm sitting there panicking. Oh crap. Okay. What am I going to do? Where am I going to put my stuff? I can't put my backpack in the front seat I have to move the the Kleenex box and the stack of cup holders from the floor that's good to know craft guy sorry oh. I'm reading chat as well okay yeah oh thank you I will look into that I mean, it doesn't hurt yeah and then I'm sitting there thinking I I never have passengers in my car and I'm always the one picking up our dinner on Fridays and we go to Culver's and get ice cream. And so my passenger seat has like a whole bunch of ice cream spots on it from the ice cream holders. dripping from the holders. Yeah. And I don't care because all that rides there is my backpack. And I'm thinking, oh, crap, one of the doctors is going to get into my car and sit on my ice cream seat. <laughs> Luckily, the person who was going to give him a ride showed up. I'm like, OK, cool, because, God. because she didn't want to anyway. This is this was really giving me a lot of anxiety. I don't I don't think I told you what I did. What did you did? So my <laughs> Sorry. Greg, I like insurance more than I like a joke. That's my um for those of you who don't know, I have a skeleton that lives in my car. Um sometimes he sometimes sits he in the sits background. In yeah, or on the dresser. But um Bojangles has been in my car since like a week before Valentine's Day and I just haven't brought him in and I went and got my hair cut uh -huh. and then I went to Raisin Cane's uh -huh. uh, and uh, I scared the girl giving me my food she goes oh you have a passenger I went oh yeah and then like You do, she, she's like I I really like when people have like weird or cute things in their car it's really fun and th she was like well what's his name he has to have a name and I went oh yeah it's Dr. Jim Bobbo Jangles and the look <laughs> <laughs> it's a skeleton in the I car did she expect it to be like Chris I don't think she expected me to have a name for him at all <laughs> like but she goes oh that's a mouthful. <laughs> Have a good day. She hits me. Oh gosh. She's dying. I'm like, you know what? I'm just driving away and I'm shaking because of how hard I'm laughing. <laughs> oh. Yes, there's uh, a Bo Bojangles. Bojangles here. is a chicken chain. Um, that is not where he got his name. Um, also, it's all oh, it's Doctor Jim Bob Bojangles. He likes to sit in the front seat. He's not happy with me. He's sitting in the back right now. Oh. Um, now you are forever, you are forever a story she will tell the rest of her life. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Um, I have scared people going through the drive-through. 
Um, I got to Lexington, Kentucky one time, very late at night, and went, you know, I'm hungry, mm-hmm. and McDonald's was open. <laughs> <laughs> and I drive in, they're like, oh! I'm like, oh yeah, hi, this is my buddy. Can I just have my food um, now, please? <laughs> yeah, and other people are like, one person goes, oh, you have a, like, <laughs> I went through a drive through one time, they're like, you know your passenger's dead, right? I went, yeah. But he doesn't eat much, so road trips are cheap. <laughs> At least you have a response for that, because mm-hmm. it does not surprise me that someone made a comment like that. Was it a dad? It feels like a dad uh, joke, kind of. No, comment. it was actually it was actually at another drive through. Oh, okay. I we don't have HOV lanes up here. Oh. Yeah. Also, I have a feeling that if I try to use the HOV lane in Georgia, I'm going to be arrested and sent to a madhouse if I go, this is my skeleton, Dr. Bojangles. How dare you disrespect him? (laughs) Yeah, I can see them not being too impressed with that. Yeah. 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 (laughs) Goodness. Goodness. Oh, God. <laughs> but yeah, so crazy stories about DB on the road. Yeah. That's okay. We like them. Gotta get caught first. <laughs> Put a sports ball hat on him and you're good. No, he has a knitted hat. It's the hat that's Danny's design that's knitted. Oh, that's right. Mm-hmm. And he wears a shirt that says "Creep it real." Of course he does. And he has Dragon Con lanyards. Nice. And one of his hands is broken, so it's like in a cast. Okay. I what mean, you, me? you know, that's that's how we roll, I guess. Also, he's a veterinarian. That's what his doctor is in. Okay. There's lore. Doctor Bojangles has lore. <laughs> okay. Okay. We'll have okay. to get more specific about something Danny designed. Uh, it is the um, the hat for uh, oh, my sk- uh, mini adventure skates. cowl. Or adventure, yeah. What did I call it? I don't remember what I called it. It was the hat and the gloves, but I only did the hat. Yeah. It was my, Phoebe, my advent Can we get project. pics in the Discord for Dr. Bojangles? Sure you can. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Dr. Bojangles uh, also models all of my knitting. Nice. So I will th- drop him in the Discord. I want a Dr. Bojangles book. Maybe one day, Greg. <laughs> So, do I put it in art? I'll get a pic of our skeletons that live in our window for you. Hell yeah. I guess I'll just put it in general. Uh, Which Discord are you putting it in? I don't know. Which Discord is the craft guy in? Is it in our Discord? Or is it in the Goose Discord? We we don't have a Discord specifically for That's Pretty Crafty. You're right. I am thinking of the wrong ding dang show. (laughs) We've got crits and nits, but that is is a different show entirely. You know what? You're right. I'm a goober. Drop it in the the, the show episode. The the show channel for the goose. Yes. Sorry. Oh, you're side by side. Oh, nice. Okay. Yes. Let me find pictures of the doctor. I have to scroll past all of my copious cats pictures. And while you're searching for that, shall I tell them what we're talking about next time? Uh, yes, please. We're talking about the Hunger Games. Oh. Now, we haven't decided if we're going to talk book or movie. Because both are options. And I believe they're different enough that there's a difference. Movie might be easier because it gives it's a shorter amount of time. Yeah. Um... We could do the book kind of later if we wanted to. Okay. Don't say both, Greg. Come on, man. We could maybe, like, touch on some of the differences between the two, but mostly focus on movie. I would not know the differences. 
That's okay. Okay, so we're getting pictures of Bojangles. I have two so far. I'm looking for another. But we um we have not actually picked out a craft yet. Ah, oh, shit. That seems to always be our problem. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we're getting there. We at least have a topic. And some of our we upcoming stuff has crafts to go with. Okay, none of our upcoming stuff has crafts to go Make with Make flaming dresses for it. I would rather die. I mean, I watched the girl do that, and it was so cool. I... Did you I do, have also watched watch that, that girl. Yeah. yeah sh- I really like her stuff. Sh- Char? Sh- uh, yeah. Yeah. I can't remember her name, but she is fantastic. Um, well, if you go by the movie, you could do a cake decorating. Is there cake decorating on the movie? Hmm. Yeah, know? because he he decorates cakes. That's how he hides in the because he can make himself look like moss and whatnot. Okay. Have you not watched the movie? I don't think I have. I read the oh. book. <laughs> Sorry. A while yes. ago. Plus um. one for flaming dresses. Bake bread. I am not doing that. We talking about PETA? We are talking about PETA. Open a coal mine. <laughs> yes, we'll just open a coal mine. That will be. <laughs> we'll go on location for that one. <laughs> Uh, yeah, oh. yeah. Um, I'm looking. I'm looking for things I on the interwebs. You making a bow. Oh, <sighs> I don't think I have the strength. <laughs> there are some cross stitch things. There's all. I don't know if I could do the cross stitch thing. Okay. Just because, like, we always do it, and then I never. <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay there are three pictures of Bojangle I mean mental strength my dude <laughs> there's there's Hunger Games origami projects oh I don't feel like that's going to be good we might look at cross stitch I just have to find all my cross stitch stuff there's some very cool um, shirts that they're doing with like bleach spray but I don't want to spray bleach in my area here. I feel like that's just asking to ruin a whole bunch of future stuff. Yes. I don't want to do that either. Plus, this is also where I do my normal job. Yeah. And I don't need that either. Distill some alcohol. <laughs> All <laughs> the ideas in our chat. Open a call by. <laughs> you know, totally, totally possible things. Yep. Oh a God. lot of the uh, the projects that people are suggesting online are, like, archery-based. Well, that's cool, but I... No. I, I'm not going to make a bow and arrows. I'll figure something out. I, I do think we need to wrap it up, only we because do. I really need to use the bathroom. <laughs> it's all that tea. It, it, it's... This is Bodie McBoat face all over again. <laughs> oh, oh. Duck butt craft. Have a good night. <laughs> we oh. are going to, we'll figure something out. Yeah, and um, we'll, we'll try and put something up ahead of time. But now everyone does know yeah. that it is going to be Hunger Games themed. and um, Hunger Games. Hunger Games. And uh, yeah. I, I did find... Right? I've seen lots of patterns for it. The the cowl from the second movie. It's very cool. Um, hmm. Much knitting on large na- needles. But That's yes, what you're good at. We're, we're going to talk about the Hunger Games movie in two weeks on April 2nd. And All of that the best. Is no you. Theoretically going to be... Uh, the day before Hershey's surgery. So if we need to take that time off because yeah. you are not mentally prepared for anything, we can. Yeah, we'll see. Um, how what we is happening? Do what do you mean what's happening? There's like, look, something popped up on our screen. Where? You missed it. 
I think maybe somebody followed. Oh, maybe. but I didn't hear I any don't... sounds. Did you hear any sounds? I didn't. I think we had people follow. Oh, welcome. Thank you. Sorry. It was probably me following and for some reason Let's I hadn't see. followed. Oh, thank you. Oh, yes. There we go. That's yes. Okay. Thanks for following. We got confused. I was, yeah. I was just like, what just happened? I just saw it pop over our faces and I was like, <laughs> Thank you for following my guy, my dude. Um, but yeah, if for some reason you do not feel mentally up for it, yeah, and that goes for any of the shows that we're in, because yeah. um, April good about April can be a trying time. Taking mental health breaks if we need to. So yup, cat just leaving the majestic goose, which open on the chrome and switch Aww. it to you. It's all. Well, yay! Thank you. Yay! We like having viewers. We appreciate it very much. Yeah. Come hang out with us and be silly. I so uh the other thing that oh, if you don't know, um Danny's dog needs to have so joey. Are you still selling patterns at a pr discount? Um I don't have the sale up anymore, but my pattern sales any profits from them still go towards her. Okay. Story. All of the Pardon. profits for the patterns go to the surgery for the doggos. Yes. Um, we are here for the puppies. <laughs> um, so if you want to support, go check out Ravelry. Ravelry, put in Danielle Lenoir, and you can get the patterns there. Um, they're and all pretty give me a cheap. Second, I will put up my site here. Yes. I've got a link to my my bio site, which is basically like a link tree. Link tree. Yeah. Um, um, but it's got the link to my Ravelry and also mm -hmm. to our Kofi page. So if you want to just do a direct yeah. donation, we appreciate that too. But no pressure, you know, life yeah, is life. Yeah, no, and... absolutely not. We understand how life do be life and But if, be you, life if people do be people in. <laughs> <laughs> people be people in. <laughs> people be people in. People do be people in. Um, but, but if, if, if you can. If you're a crafter and you want to buy a pattern that'll help support yep. my pupper, that would be fantastic. Yeah. Yes, you're a good girl. All right. Well, thank you all for, for joining us and hanging out while yep. we, we talked tea. Yep. And, uh, we should do this again. This oh, was we fun. definitely will. I need to be able to just tell you all the BS. <laughs> yes. Aw, thanks, Danny's mom. You're so sweet. All right. Thank you, everyone. And we'll see you theoretically in two weeks time. Bye. Bye. Bye.